What's up Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. How's everybody doing? I am back, ready to begin building new kits, and today I have decided to build this guy. The 144 scale high grade RX80 PR Pale Rider ground heavy equipment type from the Mobile Suit Gundam side stories Missing Link, which was only available on the PlayStation 3. Um, this is a mobile suit that was not only shown in the game, but there was also uh, uh, available, uh, you know, was seen in the mobile suit Gundam Side Stories Missing Link manga. And uh, I picked this up at Comic Con. Um, the price was uh, 30 bucks uh, at the uh, Blue Fern Distribution Center. And uh, it was, I've always been amazed at uh, how this looks. It, it does have a, how can I say this? A, uh, a Blue Destiny feel to it, but it's not Blue Destiny. It does, of course, inherit some features that I, I, if I was reading the the history of Pale Rider, it did. It comes with a new, uh, some sort of system called the Hades system. Hades stands for Hyper Autonomously Detect Estimate System, which is based off the Exam system. Um, yeah, this is a very nice looking kit. I like it. I really do. Um, I, I'm uh, again. I've been on a, a, a GM fix for quite some time, and not only this kit is going to be cool to build. There's other GM kits that I want to make as well, but I think it'll be a cool idea to start building this guy. Now, what's different about this kit? I mean, there. This is this is technically the P Bandai, but it's not. It's the Gumpla Expo version because this is a metallic kit. And uh, I hope you guys, all of you guys, got your hands on this kit and uh, are building it as well. So see, here's what it looks like. Pretty nice. And uh, not much of pictures here because it was based off the expo. If this was the, if this was the, um, the P Bandai version, we'd probably see more pictures here. Actually, no. You probably won't see that many pictures because all P Bandai bottle kits will be a, a, a different shade of color, and you don't see nothing on the sides other than the name of the of the of the mobile suit. It's a shame that we didn't get a normal version of the Pale Rider, but what are you gonna do? Might as well work on this and see how it looks. <clears throat> now, excuse me, I'm still trying to recover from um, a little bit of a sickness that I've had for a couple of days. Uh, if I begin coughing, I apologize. I feel a little hoarse in my throat. I don't know if you can hear it through the uh, through the audio. And this is just going to be a standard straight build, so we can see how, you know all the cool features this kit has. And I hope that anybody out there who gets their hands on it will enjoy this kit. So let's open it up and see what we have to work with here. a nice shade of blue. Very, very, very turquoise-ish. Not turquoise, excuse me. Um, so, you know, it's, when you look at it, you say, oh my god, can't wait to paint this one. But you realize that you don't, you want to, don't lose the finish on this. It looks really good. It's not undergated, so there's going to be parts that's going to be exposed. And yes, I think I got a comment a while back when I was reviewing, while I was showing off my recent haul of kits, that you know the tail rider, you know when you cut the nubs off, you're going to see the uh, plastic. I believe, I believe I have the color for this in the marker version. So, so that's that plate. And then we have another sort of the same color. You can't tell whether it's one shade darker or one shade lighter. I think this is the darker. Very difficult to see that. Uh, this kit comes with, of course, the ever so popular stickers. I see some whites here and there. I see some yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was under the distinct impression that there's going to be some yellow parts in here, but I guess not, so I'm going to be using some stickers. Or maybe not. 
metallic gray for the inner frame parts, beam, beam saber, and some poly caps. The uh, cannon, a missile pack, and some other thing, thing of bobs. Then a black shield parts, and then a, the um, I always did like the bolt pop machine gun of this. I really do. And here's the manual. Let's put this back in the box so we can review the manual. Act surprisingly not not many parts, but it is not a big kit. It's like a standard GM, just with cooler things. I would like to download the manga and uh, read about it if it's in English. I know a friend of mine who could probably f find it for me. Alright, <clears throat> so this is the ground heavy equipment type. Um, 180mm cannon, 90mm bulb up machine gun, leg missile pod, arm beam gun, probably under there. Arm head Vulcan guns, beam saber, and spike shield. Oh, okay, that was from the spike. Yeah, that's right. Um, that was from the, um, I believe, the same shield from what? Um, from 008. Oh, uh, no. 8th MS team. That's right. Those mobile suits from the 8th MS team. Alright. So we got parts guide here. I don't see any parts that will be omitted, so that's good. That's really good. Except for some polycaps, so that's understandable. Shame it's not in English. And then we have the assembly of the torso. The, um, the head. I see a lot of stickers for the head. Wow. And I see some alternatives here. Um, I see a visor. Specific, I guess this is specific visors. There's some pictures here of the kit, so we'll look at that in a minute. And then the assembly of the shoulders. More stickers there. Both in the arms. And then the assembly of the feet. The legs. More stickers there. And then the waist unit. Again, more stickers. And then putting it together. <coughs> and then we go here. Assembly of the shield. Oh, okay, so that's where those white parts are from. Well, I mean, white stickers are from. Okay. We can get away with that. And then the weaponry assembly. How to put them together. Here's what the, the mobile suit looks like in action. Really nice. Yeah, interesting. It, it's yellow stick. Um, there's yellow vents and parts here, but this is, I guess, from the original. Yet, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. So this one is regular blue vents. And then we have the, the gold vents there, or the, the, the yellow vents here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe... Consider, uh, considering I never saw the series or I don't know anything about this mobile suit, does it power up like a, like the Destiny? Somebody's going to probably uh, comment on this in this video. And then, uh, I don't see anything else here different. Here's an image, I guess, the game image right there. <coughs> Here's uh, better pictures. Very nice. And then, based off the mobile suit side stories from uh, on the PlayStation 3. Did I say PlayStation 4? I apologize if I did. And then, of course, if you want, you can strip the, the nice finish that's on this kit and then paint it the colors it's supposed to be. You know what? Even though this thing has gold, um, yellow trims here and here, it, and this was just basically going to be a straight build, I do believe I have yellow marker, a yellow marker, 
and I think I may want to replace these. I don't know how difficult it will be. I have a small brush, so I can probably brush it on very easily. It doesn't hurt to try. Don't know if I can do the same thing for this, and this, and that. But let's try it anyway. Wouldn't hurt, right? So there you have it. <clears throat> Here's the the kit. That's going to be my first build. Uh, let's let me stop <laughs> talking and let me start building high grade Pale Rider Gundam Expo type. Before we start uh, working on the Pale Rider, there is a few things that I want to discuss, and I've noticed a lot of people talking about you know. They don't want to damage the part when you cut the parts from the tree. Especially when it's nice and shiny and you don't want to ruin it. So you definitely need to use, you know, like nippers like this. This is the uh, Gundam Planet nippers that I got for a long for a long time ago. And I, this is more of the precision nippers for you to cut off. <laughs> but you got to be careful on how to do this. Because I've noticed that a lot of people like to use the tip quickly. or And then they, uh, I've been noticing a lot of people breaking. Their nippers break. Because they either apply too much stress. Or they wiggle a little bit and then do it. And then <clears throat> they mess it up. <clears throat> Fortunately I did not ruin my, my nippers. But there were, one day it actually fell and then it bent. So I had to re-bend it. Re-position um, it well. But for parts like this, like, well, this one I have to worry about because it actually came off. Make sure you're, you're absolutely flush. And don't do it from the tip. Do it from, like, in the middle here or near the edge. And just gently press. Don't snap. Just press it. If you feel a little resistance, just pull it back and then do it again just do light presses like that so it goes right through let's see this one here and don't rush on this you know you want to do this patiently especially on these uh, on these special type of kits There we go. Do it slow. Don't go fast, because that way you eliminate the uh, damage. Like right there, it came out okay. And right there, as you could see, there is a little bit of a warping there, so there's no way around this. For something like this little part here, you can use the little distant the the tip to remove it, but don't use the tip on the thicker end of the spectrum on on these on these uh, on these you know trees I don't know where I put my um, other er, my other nipper the uh, one from um, the Zoran nippers which are like really thick and they're perfect to cut these off so if you do it if you use this you run the risk of stressing this and breaking it so be careful you know when you work on work with these um, these these type of kits it doesn't matter if it's the special expo kits or a metallic kits or, or clear kits even the um, standard kits you wanna you know take your time and precisionly remove them properly there are a few people out there have talked about this on Facebook and on YouTube I just wanted to share my two cents here with this and just take your time don't rush no, no one no one's you know pushing you to complete something unless you're on a time crunch there we go. So, let me just um, start removing all these parts and then we'll start building. 